trouble. Well, well. Did you miss us? <laughs> I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening? I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business? What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Liquor? Exactly. I'll try to find some for you. Something coming. Something. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. He'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Again, you know? Who? Oh. The girl doctor. Cold. She won't stop that. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sight. We may not be. That's true. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see? It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night. So long. Bye. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. She will get us into trouble. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Back again. What can I do for you? These bootleggers seem unwilling to let anyone approach the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. 
Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. You're back at what can I... I shall be on my... So come... Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. more or less. So, have you got what we asked you for? Yeah, you'll like it. This bottle comes from their personal stock. <laughs> well done. Now, sit back and enjoy our performance. Follow me. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? I don't know what you're saying, but I think you No, no, it's not what you think. It's just that you shouldn't hide your hooch in a fisherman's hut. You got it coming.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. No use. The padlock won't give. You again? I no need. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. Leave me alone. Nothing out of him. I'm not interested in the chat. 
I want to tan his hide. Tan my what? Oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm okay now. It's no use. The padlock won't give. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Nothing out of him. I'm not interested in the chat. I want to tan his hide. Tan my what? Oh, no. it's okay. Don't worry. I'm okay now. Please. Oh, yeah? What I heard didn't sound too friendly to me. No, please. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's... You didn't tell me because it's own... And I don't... Now, please... You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. again. What can I do for you? I shall be on. So come. What can I get you? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else?
Charles Hawkins owed you a lot of money. Do you know if he had problems? I don't know the details, and it's not my business. Money or not, he was always welcome in my bar. The Hawkins family was always much appreciated on the island. I read the article on the miraculous catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. And they saved dock water from famine. You seem to know Charles Hawkins well. How about his wife, Sarah Hawkins? Well, she was a local somebody. We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why, then... I've got what I... Anything else? Captain Fitzroy. You want a drink? Same again, please. Here you go. That's no moonshine. You can say that again. House rest. That'll be all. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. Something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so... openly. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? I don't think I'm ready to pay the price. As you wish. But I think you'll be back. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things in... Do you like... <laughs> we may... That's true. I bid you fair good night. So long. I had the wing of the girl Left. Hey. Mitchell, I owe you. Yeah. Huh. You didn't so under- Tell me. I'm fascinated by the history of the whaling station. Huh. You certainly don't lack style. 
but enough of the jokes. You reek of private eye. Who did you come for? The Hawkins family. Now why doesn't that surprise me? A little advice, though. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families? They were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we are gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. I need to get in. You're out of l- It's pres- Are you pulling- I'm very serious. The whole family died, and, and I've got reason to believe that they're still- Well, to be honest- But I'll go- Sounds on. I'm not. If I do, you'll be in- And I get- Think about- Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. <laughs> <laughs>